Since his debut in 1992, Wario has farted his way into becoming the character that we all love to hate. But before all the garlic and motorcycles, it's rumored that Wario's creation sprung from some internal Nintendo beef. After the release of Super Mario Land, Nintendo's R&D1 team allegedly felt forced into developing another new handheld Mario game. Mario was Miyamoto's character, who was on a different team, and this team had no creative passion for pumping out another game with a character they didn't create. When it came time to develop Super Mario Land 2, the team wanted to make a new anti-hero to take back some creative freedom. Game director Hiroji Kiyotake described that when creating Wario, they started with the name and everything else came after. They flipped the M upside down to make the word Wario, which is also a combination of the word Warui and Mario. From there, they wanted Bad Mario to be the quote, Bluto to Mario's Popeye, so they took Mario's trademark features and dialed everything up to 11. It's funny to think that the sleazeball may have come from some Nintendo employees just being sick of good old Mario, and his bad traits definitely reflect this. Luckily for us, Wario ended up being a big hit and he's been digging for gold on our screens ever since.